so we've come to Rat Island yet. The Aldenbergen. Bloody old thing it is, isn't it?
That's Gabby's accommodation next time I come. How the joking, kids? How the joking? So this is a quarry. Very boggy quarry. Bloody hell, because it's absolutely saturated. There's a picture of this in the, uh, hello! There's a picture of this in the Morisco Tavern. With all the quarrymen standing in front of it. I'll come back with the way I come. It's a very, it's absolutely saturated. Isn't it? But, you know, an island needs water, doesn't it, so. Good for the uh, fauna and flora and the wildlife, etc. So we're on we're on the quarry track here. So if you go around the bend there, it'll take you up. So you, you're looking over in the distance there. Is you're looking to that's halfway wall. Ah, oh, and there's Tibbet. Well, dear old Tibbet, my. Dear, dear friend, it will love very much. So much love and Lundy. If anybody's what if you're watching this video, uh, I first came to Lundy Island around about 14 years ago as probably a lot of people do uh, on a day trip uh, so uh, from on that uh, time Ilfricum so the Oldenburg's a boat that comes during the the you know the tourist season I mean, it's, you know it's the islands are open for 49 weeks of the year it only closes for three weeks at the beginning of January for an island shut down so they can, you know, because the staff will need a break and although, they've, you know, the work on the properties, maintenance is ongoing obviously because people stay in them so things get broke. But the, the standard in the properties is absolutely top class. You know, it, it is like stepping back in time in a lot of them, but it's, you know, the Landmark Trust... Uh, own the buildings i think or maintain the buildings but they all come to landmark trust uh, landmark trust i believe was set up by a couple i think the names was mr and mrs smith i'm not sure i need to google that anybody watching correct me i'm probably wrong uh, and it was uh, set up to preserve historic old buildings of interest and they do a fantastic job of it they really do uh <sighs> I wouldn't say that it's a cheap holiday, uh, but you pay for what you get, to be honest with you. Uh, and, you know, the money goes into maintaining the buildings and that, and obviously, you know, paying the staff, etc., etc., etc. And I highly recommend uh, going to any of their properties in the country. Well, I've only really done London. No, that's not true. I went to Limstone Tower, I think it was, as well, in Devon, which was uh, unusual. It was a clock tower. Um, very small but but quaint and, and really lovely was there for four days uh, so we're heading along quarry track uh, just a little walk up there looking back down to the north of the island so you can just there uh, see that uh, in the distance Tibbet's uh, chimney uh, and uh, when the lights are on there at the night time it's like a little beacon because Tibbets is on Tibbets Hill uh, and it's the second highest point on Lundy Island. Uh, so you can you can see Tibbets light from you know a lot of different places. Not all the time obviously because you'll drop down to below a uh, vision level on it. Uh, but you know it's yeah. And I'll give you a little talk about Tibbets a bit later on. So yeah, so 14 years ago, came on a day trip 
Um, I don't think I... Did I go in the Marisco Tavern? I don't think I did. No, I bought sandwiches. I didn't even go in the tavern that day. Got some stuff in the shop on, uh, on the way back, but uh, I walked all the way to the North Lighthouse and back. And due to the sailing times and that, it's quite... Quite, it's quite a hike to get up there and back, really. So I only just made the boat. So, and if, if you miss the boat, you're stuck on the island. You can see the outline in the distance there. That's the old hospital. Uh, I presume that that was the hospital for the Lundy Granite Company. Obviously, quarrying's a dangerous, dangerous job and people got injured. Uh, I think this is VC quarry we're coming to now. And there's a m memorial to one of the Harmons, I think it is in here. That's it, it's on the side of that granite slab there, you can see. We'll go over and have a look at it. So the Lundy Granite Company, there's books books on that. I'd recommend them, read them, very interesting. Uh, it, it was, it, I don't think it was ever particularly that profitable. And in the end, I sort of think they sort of went bust or stopped quarrying. So, but uh, if you read some of the literature, I believe some of the granite ended up on the Thames Embankment, if I can remember reading a book correctly. Uh, we'll have a look at the, uh, the memorial plaque. John Pennington Harmon. You can see that? To the memory of John Pennington Harmon. Martin Coles died of wound. So we're going to carry on now back out the quarry. Uh, It looks to me like the tide's falling, but my friends who were here this week as well, uh, who I met last year, the Lundy legends, and they are absolute legends. Uh, we were, I think they were intending on doing Rat Island today, we were talking about, but I think that's in Oldenburg, surely. I thought it was in Dry Dock. Oh, so the Lundy legends have been on Rat Island today. Hardest letterbox uh, on Lundy, that is, without a doubt. That's my honest opinion. Did it 13 years ago. I bet Lou's done it as well, then.
coming up to Heligo Land. It's where the birds are uh, caught and uh, numbered or something like that to fly through. Uh, I do feel this cage up tomorrow. I don't know what it is I like this bird thing. Last year it was in the right mess. They've done a really good job of that. Well done guys and girls. Yeah, it was absolutely battered last January when I came okay because we'd had I think they'd had some quite bad storms just before. So this is, I assume these are, I'm going to hazard a guess, some windless or something, lifting equipment for the Lundy Granite Company this was. Or something like that. So I bought a little book on the archaeology of uh, Lundy, which is, which is one I haven't got, so it's, it's a new one. So I'm, I'm looking forward to re reading that tonight. It's not a thick book, but... Uh, It'll be a nice uh, book to read with a cup of tea and a bit of cake or a biscuit. So that's Quarry Beach. Any seals down there? Can't see any.
Still all looking at me. licking his arse this. <laughs> must, be, must be great to be able to do that. <laughs> So fascinating watching them uh, deer there. Don't know what uh, to, to what a deer they are. Not now, we're great uh, ornithologist. <laughs> I know that's bird watchers, by the way, folks. Just a, my, my little trotter joke. I think it's going to be time for a nice cup of tea and a bit of cake in the Morisco Tavern when I've finished this filming. Morisco Tavern, that's the only pub on the island. Pub of the year every year since 1756. Well, pub of the year on London, I should say. Yeah, it's the Aldenburg. I see what Niall means about getting into, I won't say that on YouTube.
Land Rover there. Probably delivering stuff to the castle. It's Tuesday, it's change over today today because of the fog in Liscard yesterday. The helicopter couldn't fly. So, uh, anybody who was trying to get a lunch yesterday didn't get here till today. That happened to me my very first stay sort of four, 13 years ago, 14 years ago. I came on a Friday to, uh, Friday to Monday and it was foggy on the Friday and uh, the helicopter couldn't fly. Pardon me. All right. No, no, that's not that puffins. No, definitely not.
Sounds like she's about to set off to Oldenburg. <laughs> 